Hey, Seth. Um, can you think back on your career to a time when you've played as much hockey in a small amount of time as this? And, and uh, is there, a, is there, I mean, are you guys in maybe some uncharted territory from a physiological standpoint that you just don't necessarily know what any reaction is going to be? Um, I mean, I, I can't really think of a time we played this much hockey, but um, I think we all feel pretty good. You know, we feel um, ready to go. You know, we're involved in a series where you can't take games or periods or shifts off. And, um, you know, everyone's played the exact same amount of hockey. So there's no excuses when it comes to, um, you know, being tired or mentally tired or things like that. Um, uh, we're professional athletes, and we'll have to uh, find a way to, to be the best we can be every time we hit the ice. Mark, the hockey writers. Hey, David. Um, one thing that your team hasn't had to do in all of this is travel, like hop in an airplane and things like that. Just how beneficial has that been when you're trying to recover from all the hockey you've played? Yeah, I think it's definitely a big difference. Uh, you know, I think we, we do every our best to, to stay uh, – stay in shape and the recovery. And definitely that's one thing that uh, it's not as hard on the body. The fact that we can uh, really take care of body after games and make sure we have a good night of sleep and stuff like this. So it's definitely a huge part of uh, the bubble, not having to travel and our recovery is a lot better. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think our team is, is uh, planning on, the, on all those things and making sure everybody's ready to go. And, you know, they've, they've been doing a really good job. Next question, Sean Farrell, NHL.com. If each of you could answer this question, John uh, just talked about uh, the comments he made post game, and he uh, made it clear that it's, it wasn't about giving anybody an out. Uh, I'm just wondering, each of you, you've heard the comments. Uh, he, he had his message to the team that you guys may have hit a wall, that you played your best 11, 12 minutes of the game uh, uh, of the series in the game, and then concerns that you may have hit a wall. If this is you hearing it for the first time, then what is your reaction to that? Is that something that is reassuring that your coach sees it as the whole group uh, may have hit a wall last night, as, as opposed to having, you know, some, it was a frustrating loss, I'm sure, for you guys, and, and you're looking for answers. Uh, well, we didn't play our best hockey, but we're not going to sit here and, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to talk about last game. I want to talk about, uh, how we can be better moving forward and how can we, you know, how we can win a hockey game tomorrow. Um, most important game of the season tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, we, we want to be the best we can be. So we're not going to, uh, I don't want to sit here and talk about, you know, you know, what ifs from last game. Next question, Aaron Portsline. Yeah, hey, Seth, there's a lot going on in that game. I don't want to dwell too much on one shot, but you have to feel for Emil Bemstrom, who has a, a golden scoring chance. As a veteran player on this team, is is that something you, you talk to him about, settle him down? I don't know if it's during the course of a game or, or after the fact. No, not really. Um, I thought, you know, if you're talking about the one on the 5 one, 3 I think, up the post. Um, it's a good try, you know. Um, it's an open net, and uh, he gets great wood on it. Uh, I'm sure he'd like to have the shot back. Uh, obviously, we, you know, we want to go, score a goal on every five on three or every power play we go out there. But, um, yeah, I thought we created momentum for the team after, you know, during that five on three, we had a lot of good looks and um, it's something to build for. We'll take a few more for the guys. Mike Zeisberger. Yeah, this is for Seth. Um, Seth, John, John Cooper said the other day that in this series, um, you know, there's there's such premier defensemen out there, and he said about you and Victor, we're not only seeing some of the premier defensemen in the series in the game today, but we might be seeing, um, you know, premier defensemen who have ever played the game. Um, just your reaction to that and just your appreciation to have a series with somebody like yourself and Victor and Victor and even Zach, the quality of players at your position. Yeah, um, it's honestly a, a, a big honor hearing that from, you know, the opposing team's coach. And um, I try to go out and play the best I can every night. But I think, you know, you, I'm sure you could also ask Victor this question. It's much more than just us uh, in this series. And, um, you know, there's a, you know, our decor is a big part of our team. Um, you know, Savvy here, like you said, Zach, uh, we have a very deep decor. And, you know, we do a lot of different things in our back end. But it's a team game. Uh, you know, me or Victor or, um, 
you know, one forward can't win this series by himself. So uh, we play in that team concept and, and I'm sure he'd say, you know, the same thing as I would is, you know, we try to be the best for our team every night and, um, you know, whatever that is offensively or defensively, we want to um, be a leader of what we do. We'll take a follow up from Brian Hedger. Hey, David, um, you know, with the amount of hockey that you guys have played, you haven't really taken a lot of penalties uh, yet or, or at all, really. Um, how, how much of a challenge is that? I mean, we always see, you know, teams that talk about how they kind of like stop moving their legs, they'll take penalties. Has it been a challenge to, to stay out of the box basically while t- sort of tired? I mean, I think as a group, we've done a really good job of just skating the track and uh, you know, that that's, that's why we, we haven't taken too many penalties. And I think we, we played against teams that had a really good power play. So it was definitely a focus of our team to make sure we, we stayed out of the box as much as possible. And like I said, I think as a group, we, we've done a good job of, of moving our legs and making sure we, we weren't going to take some lazy penalties. And every time it's a penalty, it's for something. And every, every time somebody's in the box, we do the, I think we've done a, a good job of killing those. And obviously we'll, we'll try to do the same uh, tomorrow. Last question, Mark with the Hockey Raiders. Hey, Seth, this one's for you about, you know, kind of being in the bubble and recovery. You know, everyone recovers different, but when you need like protein bars or you need bananas or you need something nutritional, just how accommodating has the bubble been for getting what you need to be able to recover? Very accommodating. Um, Our team uh, provides a lot of different things for us, uh, whether it's pregame, postgame, like you said, recovery-wise for, you know, whether it's our legs or, or anything like that, uh, treatment-wise. So um, our team's all on top of that. I'm sure every team's on top of that. Uh, with the amount of hockey being played, uh, treatment and, and recovery is, is a big part of being successful, uh, especially down the stretch in the playoffs. Great. Thank you both for your time.